As a parent, are you having trouble finding time to work on your mental or physical health? Well, today we are going to talk about just that and give you some tips. Hey guys, Sam and Sarah here from Work Life Glue, and today we are talking about mental and physical health. Now, San is really, really good at making time for his physical health, and I am really good at making time for my mental health, and we'll kind of get into what I mean by that. So we thought we would talk about, as parents, now that we're three years into being parents, how we make time for that and why it's important. So San's going to talk about the physical side of things. So physical health basically means like you're exercising and being active and taking care of yourself which also translates to you know eating correctly when you can um, I think it's really important like she said from a parent's perspective to be able to um, have at least a somewhat decent physical health so that you're not you know chasing after your kid and getting winded like if they happen to run into the street and you can't catch them heaven forbid or they're like in target and decide to run shoot down an aisle and you're like, uh, what do I do, you know, in, in a crowd of people, so. Yeah, and just to play with right, them and, like, have a good them, relationship keep, like, they want to play them. tag or something. Yeah. So, um, you know, I make it a, a pretty high priority to exercise regularly about, you know, four to five times a week, depending on the schedule and my circumstances, you know, everything. Every week is different. But, you know, there's uh, times where I have to, okay, so the kids get up at a certain time of day, so I have to make sure that I'm in by that time when they get up so I can help Sarah get them dressed, get them, you know, fed or If he's what home in the morning. Right. So I, as much as it kind of stinks, I get up very, very early, you know, and go work out. Because like I said, guys, it's a priority. You make sacrifices for those things. And, you know, of course, I could be, you know, sleep in and then you know, try to fit it in another time, but it just seems to make the most sense when just knock it out in the morning. Yeah, um, or if you work really early. Or, yeah, or if you work really early, or work l later in the day during a nap well, time. Well, if you work really early, then what do you do? Oh, if I work really early in the morning, I just, when I come home, uh, the kids are usually napping, and that's when I'll usually do it. So, um, I if you guys... I have a home gym. I think it's a great option to have. I can just walk outside and get it done and come back in and that usually is great because in case if there's an emergency, uh, if one of them just woke up and they're feeling sick, I can come and take care of that. It's not a big deal. You know, I can pick it up another day. Uh, also, it's if you can afford it, you know, get a gym membership that's like 24 hours. It gives you that flexibility to go whenever the time is right. So like I said, really early in the morning. Yeah, or if they have childcare, you could like right. pick up Some your kids from daycare too. or do yep. whatever and do that. Um, we don't have any of those really close. But um, another thing you can do, which I incorporate in the nicer months is taking the kids along with me and I go for walks and runs and it is kind of goes physically and mental. I mostly am doing it for my mental health because it gives me I usually listen to something. Now I know some people are like, if you're with your kids, you should just be focused on them. But after spending 10 hours a day with 10 kids, sometimes I just need a half an hour of listening to encouraging podcast or whatever um, while I'm pushing the, the girls or whatever on a little walk. And it gives them time to just take in the air and relax and de unwind and everything um from the day so that's something that helps me physically and mentally and you could jog you could also take your kids to the park and that kind of thing but yeah it could just be um, any light activity yeah you know, or and, even just it, working it out just in your home mean to videos. That you need to be like skinny fitness model no. blah, blah blah just to mean like you are being conscious of you know what you're eating most of the time being flexible still and making sure you're trying to get in a couple of days a week of you know physical activity yeah uh, so that you're there with, for your kids all these moments like yeah you know. and we also try to explain to our kids like our daughter Celia will wake up from nap and be like where's Papa and sh we'll say he's exercising and she'll say out in the garage I'm like yep and she knows that's really important to him um, and she knows in the warmer months like going on a walk is very important to me and I think it's really good for our kids to see that yeah um, so just keep that in mind too because that's somewhere I struggle with personally in the winter months is trying to find time um, because I do cater towards what I'm going to talk about in this video more of my mental health mm -hmm. um, but because it's hard to sacrifice family time when you don't get a lot of yeah. it for exercising and by the end of the day when they're in bed I'm exhausted but that if you're a night owl that might be a great place great time to work out it's right. just 
doesn't work for me because I'm so tired. Yeah, and sometimes if you can't get to the gym or if you can't, don't have a home gym like we do, um, there's plenty of YouTube videos to, you know, do an exercise at home yeah. or you can, you know, invest in getting like, you know, any, some beach body stuff. Yeah, there's so many options to stay. Up. Right, or even just doing jumping jacks, push-ups, yeah. sit up, whatever, you know, just getting your blood flowing in the morning, I think is, or any, whenever you can fit yeah, in. Yeah, whenever you can fit in is really the key here. Yeah. Um, and just trying to see those pockets of time and creating an environment in your home where it could encourage exercise mm -hmm. and trying to tag team it as parents. We do that a lot where like one of us is on call right. <laughs> and one of us is like focusing on our mental or physical health because it's really important. Yeah. Okay, so as far as your mental health, what do I mean by that? I mean like self-care in terms of like reading, you know, just having some me time. I call it mama time or my miracle morning. How do I make time for that? Um, it can be really, really hard as a parent. It can be really easy to just sleep in and then, or wake up to your kids in the morning and go to bed when they go to bed. Um, but I think it's, that's what I did when I was a new mom. I just did what I could to survive and sometimes that's the season of life, but after three years of being a mom, I don't wanna be in that season anymore. Um, yes, I do still get up with my baby in the middle of the night, but I also have really gotten her on a routine and my three-year-old on a routine of waking up at a certain time and if they get up earlier, I try to put them back because I explain that mama time is very important for me to be a good mom. I need mama time. So what I do is I get up at 4 a.m. Um, or 5 a.m. Mostly 4 a.m. right now because we have a lot of goals and like I work on YouTube videos during that time. Right now I'm going through a parenting course at, from 4 to 5 a.m. online and it's something I look forward to. I love getting out of bed and doing that. I love having this time to myself. I'm an introvert. So it really is something I need to stay energized. Um, and But you could do anything. You could paint your nails. You could take a bath. Like if there's no other time to take a bath and you really love taking baths, take it mm -hmm. in the morning when your kids are still asleep. I have incorporated like doodling in the morning. Just, yep. you know, uh, journaling. Right. Sarah does in a miracle morning. Yep. Or, you know, like she said, listening to motivating podcasts right. and videos. So something that builds you up. And it's great to have it at the start of the day if you can fit it in there just because it helps set the tone for the rest of your right. day. But like I said, if you're a night owl, fit it in there. It's really about structure. So I do it in the morning. I also do my miracle morning from about five to 5.50. I eat breakfast then alone and quiet, um, which is really nice. I drink my coffee, I do affirmations, all that kind of stuff, which I've talked a lot about. And I read my good book that fills me up. I do a devotional, I pray. Um, and this is super important for my mental health. And then I also, you know, will utilize nap times if possible, like during the daycare day, I will sometimes just sit down and unwind for a few minutes to, you know, restore my mental health or I'll read some more of my book, watch a YouTube video that builds me up. And then at night I try to like watch a show or just if I might do a face mask or whatever mm -hmm. it is to focus on myself when the kids are asleep. I think for mental health, you can do things when your kids are around, but as a mom, like sometimes you just need quiet and you just yeah. need to focus on yourself, which is nearly impossible to do when your kids are around. I think it's good for them to see you doing that and know the importance of it, but to really get like high quality me time as a parent, like it's important to be alone sometimes. So Definitely. that's how we fit it in. We just, you know, it's really about structuring, about priorities, yeah. about tag teaming it, usually <clears> in the morning. Um, he's kind of on baby duty and I'm mm -hmm. on Celia duty, so I'll be doing my thing and if the baby starts crying at 5.30, I'll text Sam who's out in the garage working out and I'll say, you know, baby's getting up and he'll wrap up and take care of her and if the three-year-old gets up early, I'll deal with her. So, yeah. um, but... And and at work, you know, since I don't have time too much to devote to mental health for my, on my end, I usually listen to a lot of podcasts, like funny ones, serious ones, just kind of, and also Audible is a great tool yeah. for, you, you know, mental health. you have a commute health. to right, do it commute. then, lunch breaks. Yeah, or if you're lucky enough to, at work, we can play soft music or something like that. I think I regularly recommend things like that too. Yeah, so. or if you get like a 15 minute break, what could you do to yeah. either physically or emotionally? Yeah, you could go on a walk and listen to a podcast. Yeah. For us as parents, we've really learned it's all about 
about pockets of time and structure mm -hmm. and committing to it. Yeah. Um, it's very, very easy as a parent to just let your kids overtake your whole life. Yeah. But you don't want to lose yourself. You can't fill from an empty cup and you, your physical and mental health yeah. are super important. So we just encourage you guys, what's something you could do starting today, starting tomorrow to work on your physical and mental health? Schedule it, write it down, set a timer, set a reminder, put it in your Google calendar, tell your family, um, just commit to something mm -hmm. small. Small is key and work up to it. I have worked up to the 4am over a couple of years. You probably won't get there right away, but if if you have dreams you want to crush or if you have goals if you're just stressed out and you need some yeah. time to yourself what can you do to That's make really that what time it kind of boils down to is like physical and mental health go hand in hand and for me my mental health is greatly affected if i can get my workouts and right. as silly as that may sound but like that's my stress reliever right. that's my alone time and sarah's is is her morning time right. alone you know and, yeah or my walks right you know that kind of thing so let us know what you guys are going to commit to and we will see you next time bye guys